Hello my crafty friends. It's Nikki again and I'm almost done with my renovation on my craft space. So here you see a giant shelving organizer that I put together the other day and it has all my little the little cubbies filled already. But I thought this was a better solution than what I had. And so let me show you step by step. Okay, there are my inks as well as my timer that I use. And here's some pictures. I filled up the empty space. Of course, we always have to fill up that, don't we? With pictures. There's a picture of me and my aunt that I'm named after. And a card from a friend. Glue. Alcohol markers. Up above are all my cards. I need to start getting rid of some. I'm running out of room. Alright. And then in each of these cubbies. Um, I have my, my stamp blocks here. And I have die cuts here and I have the smaller inks here some more inks ink refills in the back some more of my projects oh and this this right here this right here is my uh, phone my camera phone mount camera slash phone mount okay and here's some bottles of Liquid pearl mixed with water. Um, not liquid pearl, but, you know, I forgot the name of it. The powder you put in. Anyway, and then sequins. Different sequin mixes. Uh, my pattern paper box, my 12 by 12 boxes there. And then my, my other 12 by 12 papers are there. And I have 12 by 12 cardstock. And then that box is envelopes. And this is a just a box of Christmas scraps. And I have my sketches here. And these are the mini um, the mini composition books that I'm going to be making for my coworkers. Um, and this is card bases. And here, my light, uh, my card bases and fronts, and then more envelopes, odd, odd size envelopes. Okay, so there's, so anyway, there's that. And so let's get on with our video. Here with the 3 and 30 alphabet challenge, and it's M. For magazine and I did pick out three one I already put away um, AARP yes I'm old <laughs> veggie news and a travel magazine so let's get started okay first up oh first up let's put on the timer I am always forgetting that all right 30 minutes on the clock start okay first up we are going to cut this luscious looking strawberry shake this recipe calls for a strawberry syrup but I just use regular strawberries and a combination of almond coconut milk to me that tastes really good Okay, we're going to cut around this. I'm going to make a long pocket.
Okay, yum yum. All right, we're going to cut out the strawberry and use it as a little embellishment. There's that. And I have some vanilla scraps here that are perfect for this. And I have a little secret I'm going to do here in a minute. Um, but first I'm going to cut this down. Okay, as you can tell, this is too big, right? But, because we're going to put the pocket on, I am going to mark, let's see, I'm going to mark where this is and cut it there. We're going to see how this turns out. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to put it on the pocket. Try this. It's going to make for a smaller shake, I think. But, hmm, nope. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to have to make the straw a little, or that's fine. That will work. With light, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I thought the straw was too too big anyway. So there you go. Okay. So we'll put that there, and that's what it's going to look like. Let's make sure where I put it in the right spot here. Okay, let's glue this and then I'll know where to cut my pocket. Pull out my art glitter glue. this um I'm trying to decide though I need I need something behind that <laughs> yeah let's put something behind that
ick. Okay, let's do this. Let's glue this down first. Twenty three minutes. Okay. Hmm. Oh, well, it's a little squirrely. Let's let that dry just a little bit, and I'm going to get started on this. Okay, I'm going to make a tag. this travel picture and we'll cut it right here I think this is somewhere over on the Rhine overseas. I may be wrong, but I, I, I know it's in Europe somewhere. Okay, put that in the middle, or maybe... Just a hint of blue in the sky, so let's do this one. And cut this a little smaller. Let's see. I want to keep the castle in there, of course. I lived overseas and we went down the Rhine River and I got to see a lot of cool castles. Okay, so we want let's glue this on here. The Christy Marcotte trick. my longer scissors I want just a little bare border because I don't know I don't want to overshoot the tag that and then we'll do
going to glue it on and then cut around it. I don't need the whole thing, thank goodness. So let's just... And then... Hmm. His scissors are handy because you just make one straight cut and you don't have to interrupt because you just never know how that's going to go. Okay, and this here. And then that in the middle. better to put it on here, I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut these and round it off. No, that's not going to work. I overshot that just a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. Because music is very big in Europe. So let's put this on first and then do the music. Washi tape. This will go perfect in in a pocket in a journal. Okay, so let's put on the washi. Ooh, down to 14 minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay, that side. Yay! 
think we'll still see the castle. Stampin' up. I don't know if that hole's gonna be big enough, but we will see. I don't have my hole. Yeah, I do. Perfect. Yay. I have my hole puncher. Now it might be too big, but we'll we'll just deal there, that's fine. Okay, good. So that solves that. Okay, there's that. Okay, so we got one completed. Yay, all right. Let's finish this. Okay. Okay, so there's our little pocket. So let's decorate. No, can't do that. Ugh. Okay, cut it in half. Ten minutes. Okay, do the same basic concept. That we did. Just divide it in half. don't need any more embellishment or I mean uh, we don't need to pop it up on dimensionals because it's pretty dimensional already okay let's finish with a couple of hearts well we can put a little bit of something in this pocket here just a very little bit because of this. <laughs> like a pencil. Let's see. We can put a pencil in there. Yeah. It's a good little pencil holder, okay? Yep. That'll work. Okay. So there's that one. So there's two. All right, um, I'm going to use my card and put all these beautiful scenes. This is from Pacific Grove, California. We want 
what color do we want? Light blue. Seven minutes. Right in the middle here. be able to get them all on so we'll do three okay um brown yellow pink There's all kinds of colors, pinks of uh, pinks in here, so I think this would work fine. Four minutes. And green. Okay. Yep, let's do it just like that. Let's glue these two down straight and we can put the one the one in the middle we can pop up. dandy Dollar Tree foam tape. Okay, this would make a great 
travel card. Whoops. Okay. Two minutes. Let's see. What could I put? Um, I didn't think to, uh, to get out a, um, stamp set. Let's see. Um, thank you from Treats, friend. Um, any kind of thinking of you, just a note. Um, I don't have that one handy. No, I need something short to go in there. Just a hello or something. Oh, but I can't seem to find that. How about for you? With a little bird on it. Yes, that'd be perfect. Okay. Uh, dark blue. Pacific Point from Stamping Up. Grab a stamp block. Okay. I should have stamped this off first because it's a new stamp. Let's hope for the best. Yay! All right. So there is my third. I've got not 14 seconds. Yay! Woohoo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Here's my three projects a card with scenes from Pacific Grove. A nice little tag with this scene from a European castle. All right, there we go. And this little crazy little pocket that you can stick a pencil in. And I don't know what I did with the pencil now. <laughs> well, okay. I oh, don't have the pencil. But yeah, you saw me put it in earlier. So, there we go. There's our three projects for M, Pictures Out of Magazines. So thank you so much for watching. And you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.